because for me at that time i might not have that clarity that what would i be working on but i had that clarity that i wanted to see the engineering part of it. whatever be it and maybe i'm not like i'll not like it maybe i like it but that is the risk that it comes with Yeah, that is so true. I think that's the risk that you have to take. But most of the times, and I have felt that at least for me, it's been ten on ten that the risks that I have taken have been fruitful for me. It's been generally it's harder to convince the other people around it what's your mental perception around it and how do you want to do it. But once you do it, you become the trendsetter for other people. Yeah, and it generally requires a leap of faith that you have to take. That yes, this is something that I want to do and I want to explore. And I should not have regrets that I didn't try it or maybe I didn't give it enough thought. So yeah, correct. As maybe. I have mentioned it earlier but the culture right now does not require so maybe tomorrow if i want to switch back to data science or whatever they are not requiring me that you should have a degree or whatever you should have the domain knowledge you should have the right skill set and you should more above all you should have the zeal you mm-hmm. should have the interest to pursue that zo- domain i will that should be good enough yeah exactly i think what company is exactly looking for to get their work done uh, <laughs> what's the best way they can get their shit done in the best way possible so that's the whole idea what they are looking for so particularly if i have to put out i am an example for my company itself because i was the only single apm from my batch who was from a non it non mba background uh, yeah they are not biased in that way that we definitely we only want to hire iitians or maybe yes. only from some be from mba background they were ready to make an exception and i have felt that this is what companies are doing right now they are making exceptions as long as you are ready to take on their challenges and solve their problems yes yes yeah and very interestingly that you have put out that whenever you feel that this is the right moment that is definitely the right moment because if you are having those questions inside that i should make a switch or not that means somewhere you are not happy with the work or maybe you are looking for something to make that change in terms of your passion or maybe something that you want to try and explore so taking that forward it changed into how you switch towards swiggy so how was that experience looked out for you how did you apply it swiggy what was the interview experience like yeah so swiggy it was like a re- recruiter reach out to me it was again a four round process in fact it had interestingly it had a exploratory call as the first call mm-hmm. so because i feel that happened because both needed to be make sure that is this the right domain that i want to work in and if i am the correct like there should be a harmony between both team and the individual that is coming right. so a very 15 minute or 20 minute call happens generally that is assessing okay what are your interest actually where do you want to work in what, what are you looking out for then there are these two ds algorithm rounds mm-hmm. after that the third is a system design round and fourth is your managerial round okay. so yeah and then you uh, of course as in any managerial round you are then giving the op- you are told what all options do you have what all teams are there what are your interest and then you are mapped accordingly right yeah and by the end of that round you decided you want to move into the security team and how yes. you work in the, with the information security yeah. yes awesome so i hope that you have been working at swiggy for so long so how has been the work so far how the projects and function differ from your work at flipkart and morgan what's the best part of it yeah so yeah the best part of it i would say is the ownership i feel swiggy is like the true tech company that wants their employee to grow and take on every every challenge possible mm-hmm. i was really fascinated about how people actually put out their ideas and they are actually listened mm-hmm. because it is a very flat hierarchy be it in any level you have to just put out your idea on maybe a random on a channel on a group channel that is shared among swiggy and it is very good that your ideas are actually heard by the ceos and ctos and they would reply to your message so yeah that is something that i found really good here mm-hmm. then the tech as i was saying is i mean they actually make sure that they are setting the standard for the tech industry in general mm-hmm. then i found that especially for this new domain that i was working in and i had a really exponential learning curve and you are given both the opportunities as well as the space to do so mm-hmm. to try on everything and to maybe if you are not comfortable so you will not even move progress to a second step until the whole team is actually reaching the consensus that okay i am convinced and be it at any level not even if a single person has having concerns we all make sure that we all are coming onto the same page and if the concerns are actually genuine they are sorted out mm-hmm. right yeah. 
and i think that these are like one of the finest perks that you get to work at such company so yeah. as you mentioned rightly the very first perk that while working at such a startup such a company that you get to interact with ceos and ceos is very common or something like which which one would hope for because that are they are at the apex level and if you are interacting with them if they are listening to you in some way or other it's a very good feeling in itself and it's really motivating i think i have countless times seen my ceo walking around my floor discussing some exactly. of the things yeah so it's a different motivation because they understand what you are doing or they want to know more or they want you to think more about some certain aspects of it i'm sure that is a motivation like that is a feeling that is very hard to get at large level companies and organizations right and as you again mentioned that the ownership part of it that is what it brings in terms of your growth because as yes. you grow into a career you need more ownership of the certain things you need your own charter on how you think function i think if swiggy is happy to do and give you more sense of ownership and help you in their growth it should be the best place for any other individual that is looking out for Definitely. That. yeah lastly i think one of the things that i would like to mention since you mentioned that it's more proper tech company people out there audience who are listening in if you are want to make a switch towards the tech domain just to mention out there that newton school has offered a full stack development course where you get to learn full stack development from scratch this is a zero upfront fee course that you don't have to pay any fee upfront and you can check out all the things in the description box below so the links and information is available they are starting with a new batch soon you can check that out it's a very interesting course you get to learn and experience a lot of different things you get to work on a multiple set of projects you are exposed to multiple companies in the product based and service based domain that are ready to hire you and give you awesome packages so yeah check that like link in the description box below and continuing to that ayushi i wanted to understand it's been so much time but what are the typical resources that generally you follow or work towards something like to prepare for your different dsa rounds or maybe something around your system design rounds or i'm not sure for managerial rounds as well what are the different resources that you follow yeah so actually with this tech boom and the internet availability that is having that is everywhere there are large amount of resources out there i mean if i think of the time when i joined the college for the first time i remember there were just one or two resources and maybe coding platforms where people used to go and try out stuff now there are too many platforms i won't call out any one but there are at least in india there are the geeks for geeks and lead code is also very famous which gives you a particular set of problems then there is interview there are a lot large amount of resources i won't endorse any one it's not like that i would say that this one is the best it's like you you should be sure of which kind of problems do you want to solve so maybe you start from the if he or she is a beginner you start from an easy problem get some confidence and then move towards the higher level problem and definitely ds algorithms are must be it at any level so your first round would definitely be a ds algorithm rounds if it is a tech round if you are applying for any tech position then coming to the design rounds there are right now very good youtube videos that actually gives you insight that helps you explain all the system design concepts very clearly then apart from that it depends on person to person some people are comfortable in reading and some com- uh, some are comfortable in watching mm-hmm. so um, you go by your choice i feel there are many resources is available out there you check out all the youtube videos there are paid courses for the same then there are books that actually gives you in depth knowledge of design and sometimes i do reach out to any uh, blog that is written or maybe any good conference that happened that is discussing these concepts so i do also refer that to get a better understanding of all the caveats that are there in the industry till now i have been reaching to only ds and system design managerial is not yet there <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh thank you so much i think that sh- uh, gives a whole lot of horizon to explain like you should do your own research and find out what are the resources that works best for you looks and solves your problem i think and it's an addition uh, that i have i have at least uh, gone through a couple of tech blogs that swiggy has written so yeah <laughs> you can read and read out the blogs that are written, written by a lot of different companies out there so i think there are blogs by dunzo team and there are t- blogs by different other uh, companies that are prov- providing different services so they have written different tech blogs and different blogs blogs about their products and how they have designed certain thing or they how they have solutionized different thing you can also learn that i think one of the last question that i want to ask is around what should one expect or what should be one be more careful about tracking into these interviews or maybe moving towards companies like flipkart swiggy or morgan what would be your advice to them sure the thing that i found actually common in all these three were they actually give the attention towards not only your technical skills but the culture as well they are very particular about
about their culture so i feel for the technical ones uh, as we have already discussed you should be prepared on the ds algo your problem solving skills your design skills if you are applying for say sd2 level and above but i would say that sometimes the red alerts do come from your attitude as well you have to be a cultural fit there for example swiggy is very careful if the if the person is for example if the person while solving a problem is not even trying out is not even trying for a second solution then it's a red alert because you should have the zeal you should have you should at least try for any even if the solution is not coming up to you even if you are not able to optimize it it's fine but you should be able to try and you should give your best so that is something that i felt that every organization look out for an individual that mm-hmm. trying your best so apart from obviously these are very standard resources and these these would be very standard data structures and algorithms that you would be preparing yourself with but apart from that you should always be prepared you should always show the right positive attitude in a interview for example if you are interviewed for a problem solving role first of all i feel i mean that is also one of the things that i felt in all these three organizations that it is never an interview interview like don't go with that perspective that i'll be interviewed it is more of a discussion the other panel also wants to discuss with you and wants to understand your perspective they are not there for judging you mm-hmm. so um, just go with a free mind and try interacting with the panel try speaking out your thoughts that's that helps very it helps a lot and for example you want to say optimize a solution but you are not getting the right way if mm-hmm. you are speaking out your thoughts maybe the panel would drop some hints and you can reach to a solution right. so apart from the technical as i've already mentioned the cultural fit is also important so i would want to point this out that people should always be coming with the right attitude putting their best efforts in the interview yeah that is so true i definitely agree what all the points that ayushi has laid out and definitely you should look out for understanding what the culture is asked because i have seen multiple times the company is very respectful about their culture and after maybe you have the all the skills and all the thing that you are looking for but if the culture is not making science and other it's not a mutual agreement then you might not get selected so yeah you should work on your attitude your problem solving in that way that is aligned with their culture and their scenarios with this we come to the end of this podcast thank you so much ayushi for sharing all of these amazing information for us it's been truly amazing to know all these things that and how i can be understanding of the companies like how morgan works or flipkart works or swiggy works in a way and all the people who are looking out to understand more in depth i i should the phone person you can reach out to her i will put her linkedin link in the description box below you can check that out as well and yeah thank you so much for joining in for this podcast i will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye thank you Thank <laughs> you.